Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 26, 2022. Welcome to a hurricane update as we have that large Hurricane Ian who rapidly intensified in the Caribbean on its way to the Gulf of Mexico and is on a path right now as a Category 2 towards Havana, Cuba. All of western parts of Cuba are on watch and of course some of them preparing for the worst battening down the hatches boarding up their windows this hurricane will be packing winds at over 150 kilometers per hour when it makes landfall and we're already seeing waves of moisture being thrown into parts of south florida looking at zoom satellite imagery showing the path and velocity of this storm as it will be intensifying tomorrow into a Category 4 before it makes landfall and centers itself, grinding up the west coast of Florida right into Tampa Bay. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that will be affected. As I said, this could impact millions over the next couple days. And now this is the strong, another strong hurricane just in the past week. We had Hurricane Fiona, which ravaged Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and then moved north and did the same thing to Atlanta, Canada. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there. PEI, 80% of the population is still without power. So stay aware, prepared, and stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. We'll be giving you full world weather forecasts. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. Having a look at windy models here, showing where Ian is right now. Just south of Cuba, Havana, and it's going to reach the western shoreline into, well, tonight and into tomorrow morning. And then as it goes into the Gulf of Mexico, watch for that to rapidly intensify, hitting the very warm waters in the Gulf, and then stalling. Watch here. All of Thursday and into Friday, the eye of that storm is not moving inland until Friday evening. So possible Category 4 storm as it's making landfall. Hurricane models are saying Category 2, but if it keeps its strength coming in there, we've already got a disastrous situation developing. And watch for this low to grind up the East Coast, head into the parts of South Central United States, and then back out to the Atlantic. So big changes on our planet as we have all these late season hurricanes and they are strong. Now what if all of a sudden one of these hurricanes was to get into a massive cold front over North America as it makes it inland? Crazy days ahead of us, folks. Having a look here at the storm surge, parts of southwestern Cuba are going to be expecting eight meter waves. And then watch as is it uh, Hurricane Ian intensifies into the Gulf, possible 10 meter waves. Storm surge, very strong storm surge. So everybody on the coastlines, be ready. Much love, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.